Okay, everybody. Uh, it is Friday, and uh, just a little bit of a comment on last night's video. The, what happened at the market here was uh, about what I expected. If you remember, uh, I was cautioning that a break below this line, uh, which is last week's low, uh, might just whipsaw. And, of course, the market pushed down and immediately popped back up this morning. The low here was about 9 o'clock. Uh, Eastern Standard Time before the market finally took off. You had another bounce yesterday around the 10 o'clock hour uh, where the market started turning around. Uh, and I want to I comment on both of those uh, because um, so often it's easy to have so many opportunities and so many things swinging around in our heads that that we can just get paralyzed and you, you can get to a position where uh, it, it seems like you know so much or there's so many opportunities your you know your brain is just exploding <laughs> and uh, what winds up happening is you, you stare at the market and you see that you see the market does something like this it drops down pops back up and as it's moving up you're thinking to yourself man I knew that the market was going to do that, why didn't I buy it? Or the market comes down here, and there's the, there's the prior weekly low, and you see that the market pushes through and then starts to come back up, and you're thinking, uh, when the market's somewhere down here, you're thinking to yourself, boy, you know, I really should buy that. And then right about here, you're thinking, man, I knew I should have got into that. Now, first of all, I want to say this. If you're thinking that way, it's perfectly normal. Okay, I think that way sometimes as well. Uh, you, know, you can get to the point where you just feel really overwhelmed. Okay, so so what do you do? How do you break this whole process down into something that you can use? Now, part part of what will help you is to use the business plan. Okay, because the business plan is what is what's going to open up. Um, really, the I guess the possibility is the only word that I can think of, but it's going to, it's going to help you to put things into a list. Let me go here, and okay, so here's the sample. Uh, let me go ahead and move this up, make it a little bit smaller. Excuse me, I had to sneeze. Hopefully, I die. hopefully I muted the microphone out. Okay, so. Let's just start right from the top. Okay, remember this is called my trading plan. Okay, and part of part of the reason why let me move this out of the way. Part of the reason why when the market is is moving down and you you find yourself thinking you know thinking to yourself why didn't I get in there? Part of it is because you're not clear on the plan. Okay, so remember this is your personal financial trading plan. And what it outlines is the markets. Okay, now you may have more markets here. What I would suggest is if you are trading more markets, you simply type them in. So you got the pound US dollar. You might type in US dollar Swiss, uh, the euro US dollar. You might trade the pound yen. Okay, whatever you're trading, make sure you put it into the document. And then you also want to Put in why. Okay, remember this market has enough movement so I can trade with low risk and and uh, high potential for reward. I'll focus on the single market so I can learn how to trade effectively. I just wanted to make sure that I remembered what I wrote here. I trade the 15 minute, 60 minute, 240 minute daily. You can add on here um, weekly, monthly. Okay. So you're you're narrowing down what you need to see in order to trade, okay? And what you could even add in here uh, is a little bit of explanation of what each of these things are, which actually I think I get to later now that I'm thinking about it. And then even here, uh, uh, as additional detail, I use the euro market to make.